Who could have imagined that today we would be in mourning again? Our thoughts and prayers are with the victims who were targeted solely because they were Jews. Yet we gather today to recall not an event of recent times, but a key moment in history. The morning of April 29, 1945, when the 42nd and 45th Infantry Divisions and the 20th Armored Division liberated Dachau. They remind us that even under the most horrific circumstances, the most brutal crimes, and the complete abandonment of the world, they were able to preserve their dignity, to demonstrate their love, to perform acts of solidarity, and above all, to hope. For the most vital lesson to be drawn from the Holocaust is that Auschwitz was possible because the enemy succeeded in dividing, in separating, in splitting human society, and not enough people cared. For some, the Holocaust feels like a distant memory. For those survivors in the room, it has never left your side. And as it has for my father for many years, it may come alive again in your nightmares. Tikla Mendoz. For a half century after the Holocaust, Jew hatred was largely dormant in the free world. But over the past two decades, it has reemerged as a global force. We saw its evil ambitions in a conference in Durban in 2001 and in the streets of Charlottesville in 2017. Six months ago, a white supremacist murdered 11 people in a synagogue in Pittsburgh in the deadliest anti-Semitic attack in U.S. history. And on Saturday, another white supremacist murdered Lori Gilbert K. Zichona Levracha and wounded three others as they prayed in a synagogue in Poway, California. Pasternak. Call Spot Esther Yeka Balkowitz. <laughs> 